Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I'd like to welcome you all to the show. Newly released video of the Memphis police officers beating Tyree Nichols. Now, I'm watching CNN live. Let me turn it up so you can hear it as well, right? To prove to you that I'm watching. Now, that's Don Lemon talking right there, right? But it was a white guy that went on before Don Lemon. And he did have a point. But he, now, now, he stated that it looked like a gang. It was a, like some, like a, like a movie out of a gangster movie, a street beating, you know, as if he never seen anything like this, right? He's seen it with George Floyd. He's seen it with Rodney King. You've seen this before in this type of action from police departments across America, right? And, but the point when he was right was, America, and Tupac said it, he said the police are the biggest gangs out here. And I'm understanding now, there is little difference between police officers and gangs. There's, a, there's little difference between the criminal and the cop. A little difference between cops and robbers. They can interchange. Maybe it's due to a drug culture that came in in the early 80s to where it sucked everybody into it. And now the whole uh, dynamics has changed, and we and and it's been progressing over time. And now we now we seeing um, this mentality play out across America. But whoever decided to put crack cocaine into black neighborhoods cursed this country. They need to find out who ordered it and bring them to justice. Or if they're dead now, at least let the public know who was responsible for it. Because the whole country is suffering from that decision and we seeing it play out today. It's just progressed. The way these officers beat Tyree Nichols was like a gang jump in. It was unprofessional. You wouldn't expect this from police officers. You you would uh, expect this type of activity from a gang jump in, from 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 from, from an from an unorganized body of people just randomly kicking and stomping and. Cursing and yelling and I'ma hit you with this baton. I'ma tase you. He cries for his mama. Oh, your mama can't hear you. I'ma beat you some more. Stepfather said they kicked him as if they were kicking a football. Now everybody that's from the streets, you done jumped somebody, you and your partners, and you done been jumped, right? And then in the in, in the streets, when it goes down, they don't beat you to death. They jump you, you fight, they swing, everybody get a lick in, and they go on about their business. So that means that the police officers are more deadly and more aggressive than the gangs. The gangs don't have nothing on these police officers, it seems. And what about the officers that didn't run the aid? Who just stood by and watched this man being beat to death, literally. The people who live in the neighborhood, right, were so afraid that they didn't even come out. Now, black people, we know when something going on, fire truck, something, people would walk out their doors and, and stand in their yard now. And would look down the street and see what the hell is going on, right? 
Nobody came outside. They might have looked through the window. But they were so afraid of these officers. And that's the point I'm making. When the citizens are afraid of those who are supposed to serve and protect, there's a problem. You can have the words and say, there's some bad apples in the bunch, right? But for the most part, protect the boys in blue. They do a great job. It took a black lady in New York to get her own law because she intervened and said that was excessive, that was excessive force you need to stop. The officer turned on her, right? Hit her, right? The, the her department fired her, but she got a job back and she has a law after her name. I can't think of her name right now. But I'm so upset behind this video. And these officers just watched didn't render aid, didn't step in between. No humanity at all. That lets you know we're in a time of the lunatics. That lets you know where we're at today. We don't need no more. See, I know y'all feel on my show that, oh, you are, why you criticize the church and the past and why you I don't I'm just simply saying in today's time we don't need someone that's gonna cool people down we don't need no one that's gonna pacify the situation we don't need no one that's gonna go up there and sing them songs and and make the people weak again now if you got a pastor that's fine brimstone that's what we need we don't need nobody in there. We, you got to have love in your heart. and No, because what that does is it takes your mind off of the issues at hand and it puts you to sleep. And, and, and all a criminal has, has to do is just wait for a while while you asleep and then they'll strike again because he feels like the preacher's on this side. But we're going to get out here. We're going to commit these crime and murder as they murder uh, Tyreek Nichols, pastor going to come out there. He going to sing some songs. He going to say it's in God's hand. He going to say, put love in your heart. He going to say all this and all that, and the people going to forget about it. They going to go back to sleep. I mean, it happened too many times. So let's, let's, not, let's deal with the issue at hand. And the issue at hand is there's too much power in policing. You have to understand why some say defund the police. Because if you don't, you'll create a police state where people are afraid. And when people are afraid and the police crosses that line, then it gives them the authority. You can be walking and he has a bad day just hitching the head with a stick. Psst. Nobody fought back. Nobody said anything. All right. Now... The police chief, Serlene, Serlene C.J. Davis, if I'm pronouncing her name right, she did an excellent job, excellent job. She fired him, and she pressed charges. Her uh, group, the Scorpion Group, which is the name of the task force that uh, these guys are part of, she's going to get some blowback for this, although she did an excellent job. But still, they were under her tutelage. They were under her command. So she's going to take some blowback. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. But she's going to get some blowback. Now, the uh, Tyreek Nichols, it looks as if like he was on the ground. They're trying to go through his pockets. Like they was, you know, beat, beat the man half to death and then see if you get some money off of him. Uh, the way that they were speaking and why they was beating them was savage, which lets you know, okay, maybe these guys run the streets, you know what I mean, or they work for somebody who run the streets, or or they are the uh, the, the, the 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 big men on the block, 
per se. You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe Tyree Nichols got in the way of their business or their operation and they came to teach him a lesson. It's a lot of that good that goes on. But I'm just simply saying when it becomes the citizens in the community versus the police. It's no, you can't come back from that. Right. And the spokesperson for the police, who they'll put out in front of the cameras, you know, when they say, you know, this is a horrible incident, shouldn't never happen. But I want the citizens to know that we have your bag, your, your interests are our interests. We want to make sure the community is safe. And it's falling on deaf ears because you have 10 officers, five jumped in. The other five just watching, did nothing. Fire department came and did nothing. So what you're making youngsters in the streets feel like it's us against them. They don't, meaning there's no respect. You just, you just diminish whatever respect that was there for um, the police officers or, or policing in America. Because you act just like the, the 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 opposite gang in which they fight against. They can't tell the difference. Both of y'all got guns. Both of y'all got y'all colors on. And both of y'all in the streets going at it. The, you know, the, the police doesn't show a level of uh, professionalism to where you can determine who's the good guy and the bad guy. You looking at this situation, nothing but bad guys. And Tyree Nichols was the good guy. He wound up uh, dead because he didn't have a gun on him and he wasn't fighting back. That was the whole purpose of the movie I made. You know, Black's Journey, Peace to Chaos. You can go watch that now on grindcity.biz, B-I-Z. And the movie was about, look, the citizens were tired of getting um, uh, harassed and beat by the police department. So what they did was uh, the main character put guns in the streets for them to, to defend themselves. But the problem was there was no unity amongst the people. And they started using the weapons against themselves. I speak on issues like this in my book, Consequence by Vince Cole Muhammad. You got to check it out. It's the same thing, same ordeal, same thing is steadily going on. And because knowledge is power, people, you got to wake up to the reality of what's going on. See, the purpose of Information and knowledge is not for tomorrow. It's actually f- was for yesterday. Meaning, we gotta put a we should have put a pen in it yesterday. If you don't put if you don't put a pen in it, or if you haven't put a pen in it yesterday, that means it's it's twice as worse today, right? It's ten times as worse uh, tomorrow. And it's going to be a million times worse a year from now. You get what I'm saying? That's the purpose of people saying, hey, we got to stop this now. You can't wait till tomorrow. Um, it's ridiculous. It's the, you know, some say five black officers. It, look, the only difference between those five black officers and those officers who stood around and watched... Um, George Floyd died is probably the language that was used. Tactics were still the same, but you just have five black officers using slang while they beating another black man to death. Man, that's the only difference. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to get up. I'm going to kick you. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to... Your mama can't hear you. I'm going to hit you in the head with this damn baton. I'm going to jack you up. I mean, come on, dude. What the? You know, no self-respect. And I guarantee you, all five of them claim some kind of church. That's what I'm saying. It's all just 
it's all chaotic now. Right. Got to do away. We got to rebuild. It's the, the dye is in the fabric and you can't wash it out. Now, the Army Elijah Muhammad stated that the best and only solution is separation. Now, I thought, and I, I'm going to tell you, I'll be honest with you. I really thought that it was meaning mindset, culture, meaning, look, pull yourself uh, out of the culture and do things differently, meaning uh, you used to go to the club, don't hit the clubs no more. You know, you used to do this type of activity, switch it and do something different, right? And that was a form of separation, which and it is. But no, physically, mentally, spiritually, you got to separate. Because the way we hit it, um, it's just going down, 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 down. Racism and drugs, racism and drugs is going to destroy this country. You got Ron DeSantis over there talking about wokeism and don't want to teach black history in class, stating that it has no value, tearing the country up with racism. Then you got police officers uh, just beating black men across the uh, America. Uh, uh, it's just it's ridiculous, man. It's the people don't the people don't even know what to do. The people don't know what to do. Then you have, what's the, the guy, uh, with Grandmaster J, with the uh, NFAC, uh, what happened to that? What happened to the black militia and the guns and the big speeches and all of that? It's just, it's, it's just chaotic, man. Look, do the best you can for you and your family and get out the way. And get out the way. Uh, and stand your ground. That's one thing you can do at this point. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it's just too much. It's too much to say. This was a sick display of policemanship in America. The way black men beat another Black man to death behind nothing, didn't find a gun on him, so he wasn't a threat. You handcuffed the man, still you beating him. I mean, does that make you feel tough? Or, or can I say this? Hugh Can Tran. 72 years old, lunar year, went lunatic, killed 11, and was investigated by Sergeant Robert Luna. The year, this is the lunar year, i.e. year of the lunatic. 66-year-old Asian guy in um, Half Moon Bay. Kills 11. Lunatic. Moon. Luna. Half Moon Bay. Kills 7. Went lunatic. Five Memphis police officers went lunatic in the lunar year and murdered Tyree Nichols. I'm just saying something's going on. But the, the question is, is it too late to fix it? And if it's too late to fix it, more earthquakes, more rain, more hail, sleep, more snow, more police brutality, more bad food, more chemicals in your food, more trying to dumb down the American people and take away knowledge which will make you woke. So much is going on. And we'll keep you posted right here on Vogue Pick Radio. Thank you all for listening. We out.